So I'm sitting at lunch next to a guy who is he's a Times journalist and he said, you know Ricky Gervais, don't you? And I went, well, no, not really. Um, I mean, I've interviewed him a couple of times and we get on pretty well in those sort of scenarios, but he doesn't invite me around for Sunday lunch. And he said, well, can you get, can you get a message to him? And I said, yeah, I can, oddly enough, I can. I've got his email address. We, we, we swap occasional messages. I said, why? Because I don't know him well enough to ask for a favour. And, and he said, well, do you know Rob Burrow? And I said, yeah, of course I do. And, and Rob is the former Leeds Rhinos uh, player who's got motor neurone disease and has just moved mountains to, to bring motor neurone disease to a much bigger audience. And he said, well, he's look, he's a massive Ricky Gervais fan. Do you think you could get Ricky to record him a little message or something like that? Because this journalist is friends with a guy called Stevie Ward, who was the captain of Leeds Rhinos and is, is a great friend, obviously, of, of Rob Burrow's. So I dropped Ricky a note, not thinking he'd even reply. And you have to do that thing where you say, oh, please don't worry about replying. I know you must get asked stuff like this all the time. Next morning, I, don't, I turn my phone on and flipping it, he's gone, he's filmed it, he's recorded it himself. All right, Rob. Um, your mate Stevie Ward got in contact um, and said you're a, a big fan. Thank you. Um, and would I say a few words, uh, which is good of him? Um, or is it? No skin up his nose, is it? All right, mate. All right, Rick. Do us a favour, will you? Oh, of course I will, Stevie. I've never met you. What do you need? Oh, would you say a few words? Does he know how fucking busy I am? So that's my job, isn't it? Saying stuff. That is my. Would I, would I call up your mate Stevie and go, "All right, Stevie, you're a rugby player. Will you come round to my garden and run round with a bollock-shaped ball for an hour?" No, I wouldn't. So here's a few words. Tell your mate Stevie to keep his good ideas to himself in future, will you? Cheers. Beautiful. And, and it was, i got to tell you, it was proper funny and so rude. Because you know what Ricky Gervais is like, but Rob Burrow loved it. It was rude about Rob Burrow, who was, you know, battling motor neurone disease. But you know Ricky Gervais, there's nowhere he won't go. But as a consequence of doing that connection, I, 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 obviously Steve, Stevie Ward was involved as well, the former captain elite Trinos who made a brilliant documentary. I don't know if you saw it about brain injuries. He 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 um, gave up rugby league at the beginning of beginning of this year. He announced it on the, the January of this year after getting two concussions at the beginning of 2020 um, and suffering from symptoms. And he's written about it very powerfully. And he set up an organisation called Mentality. So my rugby league days are over now, but I'm lucky to have something to focus on with my time, a bit of a purpose and passion, and that's. Mentality. Welcome to the Mentality Podcast. A bit of a special one today. We've got a special guest. We've got Matt Lewis. You say that every week. On, on the <laughs> Which does amazing work in the field of... Well, I'll tell you how they describe themselves because it's quite important. Um, it, it, it does amazing work in the field of men's mental health. And the, the, the catch line they use is challenging men to be the best version of themselves. And... I, I've been in touch with Stevie over the last few days um, about maybe doing going on his podcast with him, and I really wanted him to read my book about therapy because it turned out that some of my experiences at school had, had really scarred me and damaged me in ways that I'd carried on all the way into my adult life. And I wanted him to read it because the idea of having had a bad time at boarding school, one of the most expensive schools in the country, somehow being traumatic... I just think it could come across as a little bit pathetic. So when someone like him says, no, it really works, it means so much to me. Because it means that that idea of it doesn't matter where the trauma came from, it has the same effect. So again, don't snigger, but I'm listening to Stormzy on the way into work this morning and he's rapping about his therapy, talking to his therapist. So this, this, this thing that I thought was... A bit silly and a bit middle class, if you like, and a bit self-indulgent, is so powerful and life-changing. 